Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and it's time for another shave video. It's the middle of the week, Valentine's Eve. If you guys have uh, got that significant other, and you haven't got that gift yet, be careful. Boy, I think I forgot once, and uh, never do that again. Today's shave actually comes out of uh, some constructive criticism I received in uh, one of the comments. And it was on uh, prep. Uh, the individual wrote and he said, hey Ken, there's not a lot of YouTube videos out there reviewing prep uh, shave or pre-shave uh, pre cream. And uh, I saw you used it in the video, but you did more talking about, uh, what was it, movies and family and friends and fun than you did about the cream. And uh, that was because uh, I wasn't reviewing the cream. I was probably uh, talking about something else and I just happened to use it. But gave me the idea. Because later on I was going through the comments, I had a long, boring lunch today. I forgot my lunch, so I just sat going through your uh, comments that you've left on the videos. And I'm trying to get everyone I just may not have got to yours yet, but another person had said, uh, I cut myself a lot. I've switched to wet shaving. I'm using a mild blade and this and that. Any suggestions? And a pre-shave is always a good suggestion. So I'm going to be talking about pre-shaves today, but uh, here is what I'll be using in the video today. I'm going to be starting out with a prep. And I bought this off the internet, and the time I bought it, they weren't really available in the U.S. I think I bought it... Uh, from Europe, but now they're, they appear to be readily available everywhere. And the gentleman said he had picked up his from West Coast Shaving. So uh, dude, uh, we're gonna talk about this today. We're gonna see how it does. All right, I've got uh, a new shave bowl. Mail call arrived from uh, Van Ule, and uh, I had purchased this. You've seen me use the other one. This one I got a, as a, a gift from uh, one of my friends out there, and he said it'd be good for travel, and I used the heck out of it. And they have a, a lot of them on the site, so I decided to try one of these. And with it, uh, Monica had sent a sample of just cedar soap. So I'm going to be trying that in the shade bowl today for the first time. I'm going to be using the Mercure today with a 7 o'clock blade in it, and we're going to set that bad boy. Number two. We'll see how that goes. And I do read your comments. Someone said, when are you going to bring it back into the uh, routine? Here we go. Some massage rub. So we'll be doing that today. And from Frank Shaving, I have a wooden handled badger. And I'm going to be trying this today too. Uh, actually, I haven't used this one yet. You've probably seen I've got a couple of Frank Shaving brushes, but they're mainly the plastic handle. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the wooden handle, but uh, some of you had asked, hey, could you try out one of the wooden handled uh, brushes? I'll be curious to see how it, go, how it does. So I'll be using this today too. So I think that's about it. How have you been? Man, I was getting to the comments. A lot of good comments. And uh, when you see me reply, I, I, I think you might get an email or you might get something that'll reply when you see a thumbs up or a thanks or whatever it is. I've wrote that. I mean, I'm reading, I, I try, I try. I try to read every single one of your comments and I try to uh, reply. And uh, sometimes they're not always the nicest comments. Sometimes they're a little uh, uh, a little other than nice, say, but uh, usually uh, they're pretty good and I do reply to all of them. In fact, one of the gentlemen, a good example is I did a Pearl Razor review once when I was first starting out and somebody said, how could you use that pearl razor? They steal the intellectual property of others or something. He was really pissed. And I wrote back, I said, hey dude, I'm just doing a review here. Uh, I didn't steal the intellectual property. You can take it or leave it. And he's one of the regular commenters now, a great guy. So it, it just takes, you know, just takes a little. I shouldn't come off as negative when I hear constructive criticism. Okay, this is the first time I'm using the Badger. So I'm gonna put it in the crystal skull. We're going to soak it for a second. Subject of today, pre-shaves. I use them a lot. There's many different types out there. E-shave, there's oils. The first one I ever used, probably the most expensive, I walked into the Art of Shaving and I, I got some of this. Uh, they have different sizes. This one 
God, I think it might have been about 16 bucks. Uh, could be wrong, but they work really good. And what the pre-shave, oh, and then of course the one I use uh, probably most often, got to get my fix, mm, you know, menthol. Mint, menthol is the ProRosso. And the prep came out of a request. They said uh, it's very popular. It's not, it's for sunburn. I guess it was invented in the 1800s and it's for, for everything. I mean, Derma Protective Cream. They use it for sunburn, for pre-shave, probably shaving cream. Uh, uh, just for everything, really supposed to protect your skin. What the pre-shaves do is it gives you a little bit more added protection, your skin added protection for dragging that razor blade over it. And one of the, as I mentioned, one of the uh, comments was, uh, no matter what I do, I cut myself. I'm starting out in wet shavings, any suggestion? And the blade, of course, is always an issue, but try the pre-shave, pre-shave oil pre-shave cream. It does help. So as I'm talking, I'm going to wet my face. Now the prep does not, it's got a little bit of a mint smell. In no way, and it's, I use it, in no way does it clear your sinuses like the Parasso does. But it may be readily available where you are. Oh, and uh, Somebody said, hey man, I never see a beard on you. you. Hear that? I could probably strike a match on it. It's not the greatest. Some One guy wrote, I just answered him today, and he says he shaves at 5 a.m. and by <laughs> 7 a.m. he's got a uh, uh, 7 o'clock shadow. So his beard grows quick. So mine does not. This is probably two days here. So what you do is you rub this in. And what it's doing is it's giving your skin a little bit more added protection. To me, it gives a little more slick lit, slickness. And it helps against the razor burn. And you can even use it after the shave. So it's a protective cream. But I'm using it as a pre-shave, and a lot of you out there do. So I skipped over it last time. We'll see how good it works. I know it works good, but we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna take some of the sample soap here. Definitely smells like the forest. Definitely smells like cedar. I'm gonna put some into the Van U label. Which brings me to one of the comments that was bugging me all day. I might go on a rant here, I apologize. I was going through the Super Bowl shave going through a bunch of them. And I had one guy, and his comment was shill, and the explanation, or the Webster's Dictionary, on what a shill is, and it says it's somebody who's working with a company uh, to try to drive up prices and sell the product, do all this. You know, this guy does not have a YouTube channel. He does not review or show products. By the way, I'm trying this out here. So all of you guys, a lot of you guys who uh, comment are actually guys who have YouTube channels and you've started shaving channels. And I know you don't work for those companies. I know that you're doing a review. To be honest, I could care less if you buy what I'm showing you or not. It's just a chance for me to try it and let you know how it works for me. If I were truly a shill, I'd be working for the Gillette Corporation because I've invested so much damn money in their vintage razor that it's unbelievable. But, uh, you know, sir, keep it positive, uh, I don't care if you buy their products or not that I review. I just want you to, I just want people, I want you guys to see how it works. Does it work for me? a lot of items I ponder buying and I look them up on YouTube to see how other people, how it works, how it looks, you know, what their success is. Doesn't mean I have to buy it. Doesn't mean you have to buy it. But anyway, that one I was 
dwelling on all day. And my son says, you know, don't get into a war with that dude. Just uh, explain that you're not an employee of all these companies. And uh, I bought this Van Ule, uh bowl because I like it. You guys don't have to buy one. In fact, in fact, oh, great. Where is my notes? Ah, here it is. In fact, you guys have asked me, and I've ordered, and they're going to be coming, Jay-Z Gold Aftershave. It's regularly 50 bucks. It's on sale for like 10 bucks now. I'm going to try it. Do I care about Jay-Z? Am I telling you to buy it? No. Blackland, Blackland Vector Razor. One's on the way. Master Blue Aftershave, Eucharist Shaving Cream, Schick Band Razor, and Gillette Pure. You guys have asked me to try out all these things. I don't care if you buy them or not. I'm going to try them. You'll see for the first time. Me using it. And do I like it or not? I tell you right now, whether it's the prep or the Van Ule soap, that was extremely slick, extremely really good. And it took down the, the, the beard. No tugging, no irritation. I should wait until the whole video is over. So on a good note, gents, ladies, I hope you're going to have a good Valentine's. I just got off work. I'm going to be leaving. I'm going up to Central California with my wife for kind of a Valentine's Day getaway. A travel shave, maybe, in the works. So, I'll bring my stuff. I don't know if I'll get a shave in or not, but the next few days, my son's going to be holding down the fort here. Hope he doesn't pick up the Mula R41 and drop a feather in it and cut himself again. But So if you're going anywhere for Valentine's, have fun. Good luck. Got my stuff already. Check it out. Taking her on a trip. She's very happy. So far. I'm sure I'll uh, mess something up. I often do. Shill. All right. Yeah, if you start one of your channels, as you guys all know, I was just looking at Steve Davidson's channel and, uh, uh, he's, he's reviewing some, he's reviewing the leaf razor. He's not telling you to go buy it. He's just telling you how he likes it. You know, you watch Kevy or Paul or anybody like that. They're trying out these items and showing you how, how they work or how good they do work or how good they don't work. <laughs> the Tiger Blade. The one I, oh, there goes the air freshener, the Tiger Blade I was reviewing, the, that kind of round one. They have some, they have a good Tiger Blade, believe me, they have a good one. And then they have this kind of weird looking one. And I remember two passes, I cut myself twice and I aborted the mission. Now, I'm not telling you, I'm just saying I wouldn't buy that. You can do what you want. Probably works great for some of you. Now, I know there's a lot of items, too, that you guys ask me to try, and sometimes I can't get to them, or, or they're $500 or something. But at least I can look into and read on them, right? One of those aftershaves I mentioned, or shave cream I mentioned, was uh, one that that one of you recommended that I use in the next James Bond video. So uh, I purchased that. No cuts. And it, see, it's thin. 
I like a thin soap. And I don't work for Mercure either. I dropped a lot of money on their razors. In fact, a lot of you have asked, hey man, what do you think I should buy? And you know, I'll say, we well, buy what you want, but uh, what I buy is, or what I use most often is like probably the 34, uh, Mercure 34. It's probably the razor I use most often. And uh, I've had the most luck with it. You guys might have no luck with it. So that's why I don't want to tell you that's the one you got to get. I just said, it works for me. And I know there's a lot of stuff that works for me that uh, you guys have said does not work. There's a lot of, like, the, the biggest thing I get, the biggest question I get is, when are you going to do a straight razor shave? And to be honest, I haven't got that down to an art yet, so I'm not going to try. I am going to go get me a straight razor shave one time by a professional, see how I like it. And, uh... Yeah, drink a lot of caffeine. So imagine, I mean, it's different with a safety razor, but, and I've got, I've got straight razors, but uh, you guys get pissed at me and say, hey, when are you going to do it? Maybe, maybe one day, but just not yet. I'll go bowling tonight and I'll have soap all in my ears. It took me a while to remember where I put this. A lot of my stuff I have to put... Oh, by the way, I have a... I'm going to do another uh, shaved end video as soon as I get this place cleaned up a little bit. But uh, there are some good storage cabinets at Home Goods right now. I was there last night. Check this out. These are great for the shaved end. Check this out. People have asked where I got mine. I got mine from Home Goods. Whether you buy one or not, that's your business. I could care less, but uh, I don't want to look like a shill, right? But uh, they do have some good storage uh, capabilities, and I use mine. Mine's got the stainless steel top in the drawers, and my wife spotted that. Oh, I'm amazed. The stuff burns a bit. My wife spotted that last night. I was actually looking for crystal skulls. I had not purchase my crystal skulls from home goods uh, they have them around Halloween but they're actually crystal skull candle holders and somebody said they're made by Yankee candle but uh, I see them on eBay every once in a while but some people ask ridiculous amount of money for them so uh, I got mine for like seven or eight bucks but I'm looking I am gonna pick up another one one day they're gonna be at home goods on that shelf a lot of talking bottom line Pre-shaves work. This works. I like this one better because of the scent. Pro Rosso. It's really, it'll clean your sinuses. This works good. Not had any issues. I've probably went through two bottles of this before I go through one, or two jars of this before I go through one jar of this, but I use this. And you, you can use it. It's, you know, it's really good for your skin. So... There you go, my friend. You asked what I thought of it. Prep. Don't know if it's readily available where you're at. It works for me. You do what you want. All right. Thanks very much, man. Sorry for uh, the rant. <laughs> it's like they say when you've got like an angry tweet or an angry Instagram you want to send out. Think about it. Don't, don't do it. Uh, I was going to reply earlier. Uh, or... I actually was kind of rehearsing what I was going to say on this video. And I thought, you know what? Man, who cares? I get that. And this is the guys with a thumbs down to that. That doesn't bug me because uh, you guys actually might not like that product. You might have had bad luck with prep and you might say, right, thumbs down. you might not like that razor. You might not like me. There's a lot of things. So uh, it, all you guys who are doing your channels, take it from me. Somebody's going to piss you off one day and uh, just, I just let it go. It's not worth it. There's 99% uh, good guys out there who are watching, who appreciate the channel. And then you're always going to get those haters. So uh, have a great night, you guys. And I'm going to try to get a travel shave in. It's going to be raining the entire time here in California, from central to southern. Next four days, it's going to be two to three inches of rain. Uh, going to be interesting. So I'll have to maybe shoot some video of that. All right, guys, have a good one. We'll see you next time.